What's up, guys? It's Princey215, baby. God is good, y'all. I hope y'all living y'all best fucking life. What's up, my sweet genetics genre of people? We about to hop right into this topic. As you can tell from the title, um, I'm talking about periods and how it is to be a woman dealing with both masculine and feminine en energy as a empathetic woman and as a woman who who's loving and nurturing. So I'm gonna jump right in because y'all know I like to be quick. So, okay, periods. Let's talk about periods, right? Now, I feel as though if you are a woman and you're the type of woman who has severe symptoms of their period and everybody's body is different, you guys. You can do your own research. I'm, spe I'm specifically speaking from research and my own personal experience. Every woman experiences her period differently. Some women may have no symptoms, you know, besides, of course, the bleeding. Or some women have cravings, um, throwing up, uh, shakes, shivers, sweating. Like, you feel like you're you having a whole, um, like, a stomach virus, like, diarrhea. Like, it gets real, you feel me? Being a woman can be very challenging. So I would like to empower my women by simply saying that if you are a woman who is experiencing severe symptoms on their period, don't feel like you shouldn't be able to talk about that. If you feel as though you cannot go to work today because you just got your flow, you need to voice, voice your opinion. You voicing your opinion empowers all of the collective women across the whole entire world. Because at the end of the day, our voice matters. And me personally, when my period is on and I'm feeling sick, like I get sick, I can't move. I'm not about to go to a job where I'm easily replaceable anyway. I'm gonna focus on my health. Your health is very important. So I say stand up for yourself. If you feel as though you cannot work or you feel as though your man needs to help you a little bit more, whatever the case may be, only thing I'm saying is every situation is different. Based on your situation, voice your opinion for yourself. If that means you need to go see your doctor to see if you have any more severe symptoms, like, you feel me? Take care of yourself. That's very important. Like, that's extremely important. Your body is your temple. Take care of your body. Learn your body. Don't be ashamed to say, I am on my menstrual right now. Like, it's nothing to be ashamed of. People want to, like, it's natural. Like, we're human beings. Like, we are human. That's the first thing. Now, the second thing I want to say to my women who are empathetic and nurturing and loving and just caring, I would like to say that, now I'm not going to say all of you guys, but sometimes you have to really be careful because being an empathetic woman, you will have to worry about masculine and feminine energy attacking you. And we know as women, as a woman, it is easier to deal with a man who... It's easier to deal with a man who might not be fully for you than to be a, around women who are not fully for you. We know that a woman who is not, who is ruthless and and can really cut throat another woman, we know how that go. So if you are one of those women, I want to say protect yourself, you know, protect your space, protect your energy. Don't, don't allow another female or male to like, to overpower you and make you and drain you and make you feel like just make you feel weak because from my experience oh and also i am going to jump into a different little topic too because this all this ties in together when it comes to family relationships if you are a woman and you have family family members who are women who are older who are not like supporting you or against you you're going to feel different you're going to feel indifferent in this society because as from my experience, I see men, men can easily, you know, go back home and the the mom will easily help their sons. But mothers do not want to help you if you're a, a woman. It's get out. And I'm not going to say all women. That's why I said the strong women, like this is really an empowerment video for real. My women who are mothers and who love their children and love people, their sisters, their friends, their families, like God bless your heart, like your heart. God bless your heart. God bless your soul. Like keep spreading that love and that peace. I watch a lot of Ralph Smart and Ralph even said it like the woman who 
rocks the cradle, controls the, the generations. So if we have women who are pouring into us and pouring love into us, imagine how we'll be and how we grow. But there's so many women who are just conniving and just evil. And it's like, it's so sad because as a woman, we already have to deal with men being predators to us. So it's like, you got to deal with a backstabbing female in your life, plus also a man who's clearly just trying to use you. So just be safe you know, stand your ground, advocate for yourself, speak up, reach out. There's always someone who cares. There's always someone who's willing to listen. And yeah, that's, that's it. This video is about periods, being a woman, having to deal with feminine and masculine energy. And I want to say spread love, spread love and positivity and protect yourself. Stay grounded, um, like, comment, and subscribe. And if y'all got any other topics you want me to talk about, let me know. You know, I'm here to stay, you guys. So, Lil Princey out, baby.